Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. In this video, I will highlight the drawbacks of correlation. Whilst correlation can help measure the degree of association between variables, we cannot infer anything more. Causation cannot be directly inferred from correlation. Now, let us say for instance, we have the correlation between two events, that is A and B. Then, the following explanations are possible. Firstly, it could be a chance finding. Or, it could be that A causes B. Or, well, it could also be that B causes A. Or, it could be that both A and B are caused by other variables. The correlation coefficient just tells us the degree of association between the two variables. It does not describe the relationship between these two variables. Now, let us take a look at a few fun examples. Here, in this graph on the left, we can see that there is a strong correlation between US spending on science and technology versus suicides by hanging. Well, this is likely to be spurious in nature or it can be deemed as a chance finding as it is very unlikely that the US government is waiting for a person to commit suicide before allocating the budget for science and technology, right? Now, let us take a look at another example. Here, we have cheese consumption versus the number of people who die by becoming entangled in their bed sheets. This is again very ridiculous as such. Well, this is obviously another chance finding. Although these correlations are ridiculous, they are fun facts. For more such spurious correlations, click on the link provided below. So, we can safely conclude that correlation does not imply causation. Therefore, in order to establish a cause and effect relationship between variables, we need to go on and build regression models, as this cause and effect will then help with the process of prediction. Thank you. Stay tuned. In the next video, we will explore model building of regression models.